Ezekiel chapter 4 verse 9 And you, take wheat and barley, beans and lentils, millet and emmer, and put them into a single vessel, and make your bread from them. During the number of days that you lie on your side, 390 days, you shall eat it, and your food that you eat shall be by weight, 20 shekels a day, from day to day you shall eat it, and water you shall drink by measure, the sixth part of a hin, from day to day you shall drink, and you shall eat it as a barley cake, baking it in their sight on human dung. And the Lord said, Thus shall the people of Israel eat their bread, unclean, among the nations where I will drive them. Then I said, Ah, Lord God, behold, I have never defiled myself, from my youth up until now. I have never eaten what died of itself, or was torn by beasts, nor has tainted meat come into my mouth. Then he said to me, See, I assign to you cow's dung instead of human dung, on which you may prepare your bread. Moreover he said to me, Son of man, behold, I will break the supply of bread in Jerusalem. They shall eat bread by weight and with anxiety, and they shall drink water by measure and in dismay. I will do this, that they may lack bread and water, and look at one another in dismay, and rot away because of their punishment. Chapter 5 And you, O son of man, take a sharp sword, use it as a barber's razor, and pass it over your head and your beard. Then take balances for weighing, and divide the hair. A third part you shall burn in the fire in the midst of the city, when the days of the siege are completed. And a third part you shall take, and strike with the sword all around the city. And a third part you shall scatter to the wind, and I will unsheath the sword after them. And you shall take from these a small number, and bide them in the skirts of your robe. And of these again, you shall take some, and cast them into the midst of the fire, and burn them in the fire. From there, a fire will come out and do all the house of Israel. Thus says the Lord God, This is Jerusalem. I have set her in the center of the nations, with countries all around her. Yet in her wickedness, she has rebelled against my laws and decrees, more than the nations and countries around her. She has rejected my laws, and has not followed my decrees. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, You have been more unruly than the nations around you, and have not followed my decrees or kept my laws. You have not even conformed to the standards of the nations around you. Therefore, this is what the Sovereign Lord says, I myself am against you, Jerusalem and I will inflict punishment on you in the sight of the nations. Because of all your detestable idols, I will do to you what I have never done before and will never do again. Therefore, in your midst, parents will eat their children, and children will eat their parents. I will inflict punishment on you and will scatter all your survivors to the winds. Therefore, as surely as I live, declares the Sovereign Lord, because you have defiled my sanctuary with all your vile images and detestable practices. I myself will shave you. I will not look on you with pity or spare you. A third of your people will die of the plague or perish by famine inside you. A third will fall by the sword outside your walls, and a third I will scatter to the winds and pursue with a drawn sword. Then my anger will cease, and my wrath against them will subside, and I will be avenged. And when I have spent my wrath on them, they will know that I, the Lord, have spoken in my zeal. I will make you a ruin and a reproach among the nations among you, in the sight of all who pass by. You will be a reproach and a taunt, a warning and an object of horror to the nations around you 
when I inflict punishment on you in anger, and in wrath, and with stinging rebuke, I the Lord have spoken. When I shoot at you with my deadly and destructive arrows of famine, I will shoot to destroy you. I will bring more and more famine upon you, and cut off your supply of food. I will send famine and wild beasts against you, and they will leave you childless. Plague and bloodshed will sweep through you, and I will bring the sword against you. I the Lord have spoken. Chapter 6 Now the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, set your face toward the mountains of Israel, and prophesy against them, and say, Mountains of Israel, listen to the word of the Lord God. This is what the Lord God says to the mountains, the hills, the ravines, and the valleys. Behold, I myself am going to bring a sword against you, and I will destroy your high places. So your altars will become deserted, and your incense altars will be smashed, and I will make your slain fall in front of your idols. I will also lay the dead bodies of the sons of Israel in front of their idols, and I will scatter your bones around your altars. Everywhere you live, cities will be in ruins, and the high places will be deserted, so that your altars will be in ruins and deserted. Your idols will be broken and brought to an end. Your incense altars will be cut down, and your works wiped out. The slain will fall among you, and you will know that I am the Lord. However, I will leave a remnant, in that you will have those who escaped the sword among the nations when you are scattered among the countries. Then those of you who escape will remember me among the nations to which they will be taken captive. How I have been hurt by their adulterous hearts, which turned away from me, and by their eyes which committed infidelity with their idols, and they will loathe themselves in their own sight for the evils which they have committed, for all their abominations. Then they will know that I am the Lord. I have not said in vain that I would inflict this disaster on them. This is what the Lord God says. Clap your hands, stamp your foot, and say, Woe! because of all the evil abominations of the house of Israel, which will fall by the sword, famine, and plague. Anyone who is far away will die by the plague, anyone who is near will fall by the sword, and anyone who remains and is spared from these will die by the famine. So I will expend my wrath on them. Then you will know that I am the Lord, when their dead are among their idols around their altars, on every high hill, on all the tops of the mountains, under every leafy tree, and under every massive oak with thick branches, the places where they offered a soothing aroma to all their idols. So through all their dwelling places, I will stretch out my hand against them, and make the land more desolate and waste than the wilderness toward Dibla so they will know that I am the Lord. Chapter 7 Moreover, the word of the Lord came to me, saying, And you, son of man, this is what the Lord God says to the land of Israel. An end. The end is coming on the four corners of the land. Now the end is upon you, for I will send my anger against you. I will judge you, according to your ways, and bring all your abominations upon you. And my eye will have no pity on you, nor will I spare you. But I will bring your ways upon you, and your abominations will be among you. Then you will know that I am the Lord. This is what the Lord God says, A disaster, a unique disaster. Behold, it is coming. An end is coming, the end has come. It has awakened against you, behold it has come. Your doom has come to you, you inhabitant of the land. The time has come, 
The day is near. Panic, rather than joyful shouting on the mountains. Now I will shortly pour out my wrath on you, and expend my anger against you. I will judge you according to your ways, and bring on you all your abominations. My eye will have no pity, nor will I spare you. I will repay you according to your ways, while your abominations are in your midst. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am striking. Behold the day. Behold, it is coming. Your doom has gone forth. The rod has budded. Arrogance has blossomed. Violence has grown into a rod of wickedness. None of them shall remain. None of their people. None of their wealth nor anything imminent among them. The time has come, the day has arrived. Let neither the buyer rejoice, nor the seller mourn, for wrath is against all their multitude. Indeed, the seller will not regain what he sold as long as they both live, for the vision regarding all their multitude will not be averted, nor will any of them maintain his life by his wrongdoing. They have blown the trumpet and made everything ready, but no one is going to the battle, for my wrath is against all their multitude. The sword is outside the city, and the plague and the famine are within. Anyone who is in the field will die by the sword, while famine and the plague will consume those in the city. Even when their survivors escape, they will be on the mountains like doves of the valley all of them moaning, each over his own wrongdoing. All hands will hang limp, and all knees will drip with water. They will dress themselves in burlap. Horror and shame will cover them. They will shave their heads in sorrow and remorse. They will throw their money in the streets, tossing it out like worthless trash. Their silver and gold won't save them on that day of the Lord's anger. It will neither satisfy nor feed them, for their greed can only trip them up. They were proud of their beautiful jewelry and used it to make detestable idols and vile images. Therefore, I will make all their wrath disgusting to them. I will give it as plunder to foreigners, to the most wicked of nations, and they will defile it. I will turn my eyes from them all these robbers invade and defile my treasured land. Prepare chains for my people, for the land is bloodied by terrible crimes. Jerusalem is filled with violence. I will bring the most ruthless of nations to occupy their homes. I will break down their proud fortresses and defile their sanctuaries. Terror and trembling will overcome my people. They will look for peace, but not find it. Calamity will follow calamity. Rumor will follow rumor. They will look in vain for a vision from the prophets. They will receive no teaching from the priests and no counsel from the leaders. The king and the prince will stand helpless, weeping in despair, and the people's hands will tremble with fear. I will bring on them the evil they have done to others, and they will receive the punishment they so richly deserve. Then they will know that I am the Lord.'"